This is a review of Biology 12, um, specifically myelinated neurons. The axons and dendrites of many neurons are enclosed in a fatty myelin sheath. Each of these myelin sheaths, as depicted here, is composed of one Schwann cell, and the Schwann cell's plasma membrane is wrapped many times around the um, neuron uh, in order to encase it in that uh, fatty um, uh, layer. So each sheath is made from the plasma membrane of one Schwann cell. There are little gaps between each Schwann cell, and those are called the nodes of Ranvier. So we have a Schwann cell, multiple Schwann cells lining the neuron, wrapped around it, uh, much like an insulator on a wire, except there are gaps in between the Schwann cells. This allows for something called saltatory conduction. This kind of conduction is a conduction that jumps from one node of Ranvier to another. Uh, essentially, uh, these Schwann cells ensure that the voltage-gated channels, the sodium-potassium channels that we discussed earlier, are confined to the nodes of Ranvier in these areas. So the areas that are encased by the Schwann cell have no uh, sodium or potassium channels. The inrush of sodium ions that happen at one node then creates just enough depolarization at the node furthest from it to reach that threshold. And then this one can depolarize. That depolarization will cause depolarization and is just enough to reach the threshold of the node just beyond it. The intervening areas um, do not uh, then have uh, sodium and potassium channels open. They don't depolarize. Uh, this saves in the amount of, first of all, the amount of energy that is required to move the salts back and forth with the sodium potassium pumps, and uh, decreases the amount of time it would take to move all these ions back and forth because we're limiting it to these areas, and we can jump over these intervening spaces. So, with a regular uh, nerve impulse, it would cause depolarization in the, in the next area, and the next area, and the next area, and it would slowly move down the neuron. Uh, say at about four kilometers per second, or sorry, four kilometers per hour. Now considered conduction that jumps from one node to another. Depolarization here causes depolarization there, which causes depolarization here, and so on all the way down the neuron. This jumping effect can actually increase speeds to about 400 kilometers an hour, a um, hundred times faster. So, to review, when one Schwann cell meets another, the axon is unprotected. The voltage-gated channels, the sodium-potassium channels, are confined to these areas, which are known as the node of Ranvier's. The inrush of sodium ions at one node creates just enough depolarization to reach the threshold of the next node. The result is that the action potential jumps from one node to another, greatly speeding the nerve impulse. Uh, as well, there's a, MS is a disease in which the myelins have been stripped from the neurons, greatly slowing down the nerve impulses, which of course creates uh, many problems for the human nervous system. You can imagine if you took your computer and stripped all the insulation on the wiring. Um, it's not going to work too well after that. This has been a review video for Biology 12 and specifically uh, myelinated neurons.